Let's look at uh, one more differential equation. The question is consider the function y is equal to cos squared x and find the general solution uh, to the condition that dy by dx is equal to y. Okay, so what they're saying is dy by dx is y and they're given y is cos squared x. So right, right away we can say dy by dx is y and y is cos squared x. Okay, so the next step we can write is dy by dx is equal to cos squared x. Now, when you separate the x's with the y, and then later on when you integrate, you uh, cannot integrate cos squared x. Okay, it's difficult to integrate cos squared x. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce this uh, by the power reduction formula. So let me show you that. So uh, you know the double angle formula, okay, so the double, let us write the double angle formula, double angle, um, double angle formula, double angle formula for cos 2x, so cos 2x has got three formulas, so I'll write the formula with related to cos is 2 cos squared x minus 1, so if you make cos squared the subject, I can write cos 2x plus 1 is 2 cos squared x. So if you divide all by 2 or multiply all by half, so that is half cos 2x plus half is equal to cos, this is a very good formula to remember, cos squared x in integration if you remember this formula, this is also called the power reduction formula. So from cos squared x, you can write this. So in place of cos squared x, I can write this. So I can say now dy by dx in terms of cos is, I'll write the half first, doesn't matter, plus half cos 2x. So I can separate the y's and x's. So dy is half I put this in the bracket, plus half plus half cos 2x dx. So now I can integrate both sides. So I can say integration of dy is equal to integration of half plus half cos 2x dx. So I can distribute the dx, so I can write so integration of dy is same as integration of half dx plus half integration of cos 2x dx. So integration of y is y is equal to half integration of dx is x plus half uh, integration of cos 2x is when integrating, when you're differentiating cos uh, it is uh, when your cos integrates to sine. Okay, so let me uh, write that just for clarification. So d by dx of uh, sine x is equal to cos x. Okay, so integration of cos x dx is sine x. But here, as you got a 2 here, you have to use the a chain rule. It will be half times half sine uh, sine 2x plus the constant of integration. Now, if you don't understand this step, uh, you can do a u substitution and then you can understand how I got this half. So finally, in a different color, y is equal to half x plus a quarter of sine 2x plus c. So at times when you solve differential equation, you don't understand at times what's happening. So what have we done? We have differentiated, sorry, we have solved this differential equation 
and we have got the general solution which is this. So if you want to check your answer, if you differentiate this, you should get cos squared x. Okay, so let us do that just for fun. So let us differentiate both with respect to x. So this is only to check whether our solution is right. So let us. So if you differentiate both sides with respect to x, so that is d by dx of y is equal to half times d by dx of x plus a quarter of d by dx of sine 2x plus d by dx of c this is, which is a constant so this is nothing but d by by dx is equal to d by dx of x is 1 so that is nothing but half plus 1 quarter times difference you have to use the uh, in differentiate inside first so when you differentiate 2x you get 2 times differentiation of sine x is cos 2x and differentiation of constant is 0 so this is we are almost there so dy by dx is half plus half times cos 2x so we saw cos 2x here cos 2x the double angle is 2 cos squared x minus 1 so in place of cos 2x I can write 2 cos squared x minus 1 so let us write that so this is half plus half times 2 cos squared x minus half so this is nothing but half plus half times 2 is 1 that is cos squared x minus half so the half and half gets cancelled so dy by dx is equal to cos squared x and that's what we got because it was given that y is equal to cos squared and that's what is given that dy by dx is equal to y okay therefore this implies dy by dx is equal to y hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video